Now we're going to make the um, low carb uh, bread using the almond flour. So we're going to need two cups of almond flour. Now whenever I'm done with this, I will store it in a Ziploc bag in the freezer so um, it lasts longer. It could last up to six to eight months in the freezer, but it never lasts that long. All right, so there's two cups of the almond flour. Then we need um, a quarter cup of psyllium husk. Now, um, it, these are the flakes, but it says powder, but um, you can get these anywhere. Uh, but I'll put a link in the description for you uh, for Amazon. But psyllium husk is very good for you. Uh, it helps with digestive health. And then we're going to add a tablespoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of mineral salt, and a um, quarter cup of coconut oil that um, you measure it out um, solid and then you melt it so that it mixes in. And then we're going to add um, four large eggs. And uh, so I finally, I found a <laughs> almost a blooper. I found a person that sells farm fresh eggs, so I'm happy about that. Um, he's local and he's reasonable, and I miss my farm fresh eggs. So we're going to mix that all together now, and then we're going to put it in a baking pan that I need to get prepared. And I will be right back. I'm, the machine's loud, so I'm not going to run it while um, I'm talking. So, um, anyway, I'm going to stir it up and be right back. So, after it mixed together the, all those ingredients, then um, while it was still mixing, I added a half a cup of warm water. And so, this is what it looks like. Now, um, what I love are these um, parchment paper sheets. <laughs> They're pre cut. Now, whenever you use it, um, Make sure that let me pause and because I'm making a lot of noise. <laughs> One second. So I read online the other day that um, if you are working with parchment paper, if you get it wet and scrunch it up, then it will um, be easier to work with. And it looks like it's very true because it's more flexible and pliable. So anyway, we're going to pour, I'm going to spray it first. Now the wrinkles at the end are going to make the ends not so pretty, but whatever. And um, because, you know, we're going to eat them anyway. <laughs> and then we're just going to pour this in here. Now I use a taller loaf pan, bread pan, um, so that it makes it taller for sandwiches because the little short loaves don't really work. Um, and then we're going to bake it at 400 for 55 to 70 minutes. I'm sorry, 350. Bake it at 350 for 55 to 70 minutes. So we're going to start checking it at, um, at 55 minutes and see how it goes. Alright. It's my uh, week of prep, or day of prep for the week, so I am making the deviled eggs that I made uh, in the previous recorded video, and so you can check that out and how to uh, make the um, easy peel um, boiled eggs in the uh, pressure canner or Instapot. So uh, check out those two videos, and um, I'm going to make my deviled eggs now. Ta-da! Deviled eggs are done. <laughs> All right. I just wanted to show you that we still got 35 minutes to go on the bread. All right. So the bread is finally done. I'm going to have a bite. It only took 55 minutes. So um, let's see how it tastes. Pretty good. It'll taste um, better when it cools, <laughs> a little warm. Um, but let it cool completely. And then you just lift up parchment paper and set it out. I think I might go ahead and do that now. So that um, 
it'll be, it'll cool faster that way. All right, so there is your low carb almond flour bread that you can um, enjoy with sandwiches or by itself or just with butter on it. All right, so. Uh, join me later uh, in a different video. I'm going to make bone broth um, and uh, using the uh, leftovers from the Cornish game hens the other day. So it's going to have really good flavor and uh, we will talk more about that then. All right. Thank you. Uh, remember to like and uh, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs>